Hello there, I'm Liz, but you can call me Liz. Today is Tuesday, May 17th, and I can't wait for school to be over. Welcome to the Roar. There will be an informative meeting on Thursday at 7.40 in Coach Mullen's room for anyone interested in summer running opportunities. This is not exclusive to cross-country runners, but open to anyone wanting to do some mileage training this summer. Drama Club will be holding its end-of-the-year meeting and celebration after school on Wednesday at 3.30 p.m. Come to see our new Thespian Troop members be inducted and enjoy some snacks in good company. Sophomores, it's, to, it's your day to enroll for next fall. Freshmen will get your chance tomorrow, so make sure you look over the master schedule on Skyward to figure things out ahead of time. Finals are next week. You'll take finals for hours 1, 2, and 3 on Monday, 5 and 6 on Tuesday, and 7 and 8 on Wednesday. Thursday is for makeup testing, so if you're done with testing, it's your first day of summer. For lunch today, there will be an offering of nachos, chili crispito, salad, and the other typical fares. The food gods are definitely on our side today. And now for the news. The Senate Armed Services Committee last week approved a draft requirement for females. The requirement calls for women to be signed up with the Selective Service within 30 days of turning 18, beginning in 2018. The U.S. has not used a military draft since 1973, when it was suspended after the Vietnam War era. But it remains in place, and all men between 18 and 25 years of age are required by law to register. In California, killer bees terrorized a neighborhood over the weekend, attacking people and pets. The Concord Police Department issued an alert after they received calls about roving aggressive bees. An amateur beekeeper accidentally lost the swarm, who went on a rampage, stinging several children and even killing two dogs, who were found to have more than 50 stingers lodged inside their bodies. Here's some trivia for you. Did you know the song Home on the Range is full of lies? Well, the sky is sometimes cloudy all day, like yesterday, and perhaps today. But now to the good part. Buffalo don't roam here. It's a lie. There goes your childhood. They're not here. We only have bison. Which, by the way, was recently named the official mammal of the United States. Oh, and while we're on the topic, buffalo are native to Asia and Africa. Bison live in North and South America. The more you know. Now we go to two experts on how to get the ladies. Let's see what advice they have for you loathsome souls out there. This is How to Get a Girl by two self-proclaimed experts. Yay. Don't be scared. Yay. You don't need to start with this thing. Step one, get flowers. Step two, give her a jacket if she's cold. Not cold. Step three, pick her up for a date. Those were definitely some steps. Indeed, it did exist. Congratulations to LHS Special Olympics athletes, senior Alex Beavers, and junior Curtis Meadows, who participated in the powerlifting state meet over the weekend. Beavers finished first in squat, deadlift, and bench in his weight class, and Meadows finished second in squat, deadlift, and bench in his class. That's it for today. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow.